After the COVID-19 pandemic, many believed Amtrak was dying, readership plummeted, funding dried up, and the system looked like it was falling apart. But now, that narrative is changing fast. Armed with billions in federal infrastructure funding and a renewed national focus on sustainable transportation, Amtrak is charging into the future with its boldest plan yet, a genius vision to completely transform the Northeast Corridor by 2040. In today's video, we'll break down what this vision means, what's changing, and Amtrak will finally become the world-class rail system America has long needed. Let's find out. Inside Amtrak's vision to transform the NEC, the Northeast Corridor, or NEC, runs from Boston to Washington, D.C., and it's the busiest passenger rail line in the entire U.S. Over 600,000 people ride it every weekday, connecting eight states and the District of Columbia. Moreover, it's a key part of the U.S. economy. The NEC covers just 2% of U.S. land, but it's home to 50 million people and produces 20% of the nation's GDP. Amtrak's 2040 genius vision for this region actually began back in 2010, when they first outlined a bold plan for high-speed rail. The idea? Cut travel times in half. Think New York to DC in just 96 minutes, and Boston to New York in 84. The full plan came with a big price tag, around $117.5 billion, but also huge benefits, faster service, up to 80 million riders a year, and thousands of new jobs. But it wasn't easy. The NEC has some of the oldest rail infrastructure in the country. Parts of it are over 100 years old, and fixing it would require more than $50 billion by 2030 just to stay on track. On top of that, challenges like outdated designs, high costs, and strict regulations have made progress slow. Today's trains, including the Acela, still lag behind high-speed systems in countries like France or Japan. Still, Amtrak isn't giving up, and with their vision, they're aiming higher than ever. So what next? Before we continue, we need your support. We're on track to 1,000 subscribers, and you can help get us there. If you're passionate about trains, high-speed rail, or just love watching the future of transportation unfold, hit that subscribe button and ride with us. Every sub brings us closer to growing this amazing rail community. Thank you. Connect NEC 2037 and the road to 2040. Amtrak's big vision for the Northeast Corridor has gone through several updates over the years, adjusting to new priorities, funding, and ridership trends. The most recent version is called Connect NEC 2037, or C37, a massive $176 billion plan rolled out in November 2023. It's a 15-year effort, aiming to fully modernize the corridor by 2038. C-37 builds on the earlier Connect NEC 2035 plan. The plan includes some major upgrades. Amtrak wants to double the number of trains running between Washington, D.C., and New York City, increase service by 50% between Boston and New York, and boost regional commuter trains by 60%. That could mean 51 million more passengers per year. Commute times will also be cut. For example, Boston to Providence could drop to just 45 minutes, down from about 1 hour and 15 minutes. These improvements won't just make travel easier, they'll also help the environment. The plan aims to take 38 million cars off the road and eliminate 600,000 short-haul flights every year, cutting 750,000 metric tons of carbon emissions. The funding behind this comes from the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and more than $16 billion in grants for 25 major passenger rail projects. While Amtrak was expected to release a new version of the plan, called Connect NEC 2040, C40, sometime in 2025, it hasn't been officially announced as of July. Still, the five-year NEC Capital Investment Plan, approved in late 2024, gives us a strong idea of where things are headed next. So, what's actually happening right now? Major projects in motion. 2025 update. As of fiscal year 2025, real progress is being made. According to an Amtrak news update from July 2025, 29 NEC-related projects are now showing strong development. Many in planning, final design, or active construction. Amtrak's five-year capital investment plan from 2025 to 2029 
allocate $6.4 billion toward 90 programs and 253 individual projects. Out of those, 97 are currently under construction and 35 are expected to be completed by the end of the fiscal year. Several key infrastructure upgrades have already moved into major construction. These include the Connecticut River Bridge replacement, backed by $2.6 billion in fiscal year 2025 funding, the Frederick Douglass Tunnel in Baltimore, now in pre-construction and demolition phases, and the Portal North Bridge in New Jersey, which is 70% complete and staying on budget. The Hudson Tunnel Project also began full construction in late 2023, while upgrades at Baltimore Penn Station, Philadelphia's 30th Street Station, and the Philadelphia Rail Yard are all actively underway. Other important projects are progressing through earlier stages like planning and design. As of July 2025, eight projects are in advanced design, six are in major construction, and two, including the Frederick Douglass Tunnel and Seattle Rail Yard upgrades, are nearing their final stages. In November 2024, additional funding unlocked several new developments. These include plans to double train capacity at New York Penn Station, modernize Washington Union Station's power and digital infrastructure, and redevelop Baltimore Penn Station. Other major projects funded include replacing the 115-year-old Sawtooth Bridges in New Jersey, studying the replacement of the Connecticut River Bridge in Windsor Locks, upgrading 18 miles of the Keystone Corridor, and replacing 100 miles of overhead catenary wire for improved reliability between Baltimore and New Carrollton. But here's where it gets exciting. Amtrak's gearing up to launch the Acela Liberty, a brand new fleet of high-speed trains built by Alstom. These sleek, modern train sets are built for 186 miles per hour cruising, featuring smart tilting technology for smoother curves, more spacious interiors, and upgraded passenger comfort. As of mid-2025, they're in the final testing phase, with rollout expected by the end of the year. Paired with the ongoing infrastructure overhaul, this next-gen fleet is at the heart of Amtrak's 2040 vision, transforming the Northeast Corridor into a faster, greener, and more efficient rail backbone for the country. Of course, ambition comes with reality checks. With a 15-year rollout and plenty of government red tape, don't be surprised if these timelines stretch. Realistically, I'll probably be enjoying that 96-minute ride from DC to New York when I'm pushing 70. Still, it's one of the most serious pushes we've seen in decades and worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit subscribe and check out the video on screen to explore more US rail projects. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.